that old Theodore Roosevelt quote that goes, do what you can with what you have where you are. And that's very much my approach to what me and the children tend to go out and do. Um, the first day I started filming for this challenge, it had snowed. The children and I hoped the snow would stay till after school because we had grand plans to pack up water pistols full of paints and go and paint it. But unfortunately, it had all gone. Um, so what we did instead, we went for a walk and we found several big icy puddles. We pulled the ice out of those and decided to paint that instead. It was an interesting experiment. We never tried anything like that before. It certainly broadened our horizons. It was nice to try something new. Using what we had, we also put little bird feeders in our local woodland too. Finding the time to get outdoors after school is hugely important. It's not just about finding the time, it's making that time. And we find that's easier done when we make plans with friends and head out with them. You're less likely to change that plan if you're committed to it with somebody else. With this in mind, we invited some friends for a woodland walk with us. They enjoy their crafts too. So what we did is we took the children for a walk around the woods and we gathered some lovely things that we found to make a wreath which we then got together again the next day and sat with the children to make them. Making these wreaths was a nice way of bringing wild time indoors. Another great way of enjoying wild time indoors that we enjoyed this week was joining in with the RSPB's Big Garden Bird Watch. We made notes of the birds we saw, as usual, but we also joined in with a sketch along too. We chose to share our birdwatch findings online and discover what other people were finding in their gardens. Now we did try one thing that really pushed us out of our comfort zone as a family. We decided to go for some adventures in the dark. We packed up fairy lights, torches and lanterns and had lots of fun with these. We even made a constellation after looking at the stars. We did have a moon phase app that we thought would be good to look at while we were there, but um, there was no moon. Right, you can't see much, but we're actually playing hide and seek in the dark on our local downs. We are listening for Adam, who is jangling his keys, and I don't know what I've just trodden in. Adam, jangle your keys! We can't hear them! Flash a torch! I'm with these. <laughs> We really did have so much fun doing this um, particular challenge. Pushing ourselves to be out in the dark and in the cold was something we found really good fun and we'll definitely do again soon. When I mentioned to a friend that we were taking part in this challenge and that we were going to be pushing ourselves by going out at night, she offered us some glow sticks, which we decided to do this with. Inspired by our geocaching adventures in Salisbury, we decided to make our own box. Um, gain permission of course and deposit our own geocache box locally for someone to find. It's been a lovely week of taking regular indoor things outdoors too. There's nothing quite like a hot cup of tea outside and we've gained so much from it. We've had so much fun. We've really kind of broadened what wild time is to us. We've tried lots of new things and our main hacks really that we could say for getting other people outside to inspire other people is ask friends and really actively make that time to be outside.